All right, guys, welcome back to Stuck on an Island, where I'm stuck with you guys and we're always smiling. You guys do know if you've seen the other videos that we're at this really cool, rustic cabin feel looking over the mountain kind of place. And one thing I like about this space is that it has this somewhat kind of outdoor feeling kitchen. I mean, the kitchen opens all the way up so you can look right out onto all this green and it's amazing. So anyway, we're going to be doing up a very quick dish which I believe I've done before on the channel, but you know, that's what my cousin wants and also that's what Kurt likes. So we're trying to make one dish that everyone can be able to partake in. That dish is gonna be salt fish with some fried dumplings. Quick little secret, I usually mess up dumplings, so I don't even know how I'm gonna do this. But anyway, no pressure, let's get into the kitchen. So in the kitchen now, we got Kurt. Kurt's gonna be my sous chef today. He's gonna be helping, oh. Ooh. Julie mangoes. Kurt got the Julie mangoes. So the dish is gonna have some avocado, AKA pear. We're gonna have some plantains. We're gonna also have um, fried dumpling and the sawfish. And basically this is all the ingredients that we are going to be using. We got some milk. This could be for some tea. And of course, we're gonna rock with some chiffon butter. This is a very age old butter. Um, a lot of us in Jamaica grew up on this. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. So I was just letting Kurt know that I, I like, I think I, I'm pretty quick -er. And most people are cooking, so I need that speed. You got that speed, boy? Yes, I do. You got the speed, all right. Well, anyway, so the first thing we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be cutting up some um, limes real quick um, so we can get the lemonade curd. Right now, it's dealing with the sawfish. While I'm over here messing with the I don't want to say lemonade because someone's going to say it's no, lemonade. No, lemonade because it's lightened all right. Suit yourself with the limeade. Oh, shoot. So we washed these off just being a little bit weird today. No problem. All right, so they have this really nice cutting stone in here. To be honest, I've never used a cutting stone before. So this is new for me. Um, this knife is pretty dull, if you ask me. But I didn't bring mine. So we're gonna cut the lines up real quick and then we're gonna be using some brown sugar. I think lemonade tastes a lot better with that brown sugar. If you know Kurt well enough, he loves gadgets. So we found this in here and I'm sure he's gonna insist that I use it. So I'm gonna try the first one and see how, how effective it is. And So as much as I might want to knock this, you have to take a quick look. It's this amount of juice, so I can't complain with the lines at all. Separation, pretty good. So because where we are, we don't have a jug, we're going to be using this little bowl. So Kurt's going to throw some water into that. Cool thing about this place, they use reverse osmosis in the kitchen, so it's really super filtrated water. Now how I like to do it, I like to go with the lemon juice first, but then there's no sign. Now for the fried dumplings, don't take my recipe on this because like I said, I may not be the best at making this, but we're gonna try it today. Um, so we have the all-purpose flour. I like using all-purpose because, I don't know, it can be used for baking and anything, so it goes well. So the flour is in and we're going to also use baking powder, salt, some chiffon butter, and um, oh, coconut milk powder. Okay, so Kurt suggested that I use ice water because he wants to take it to the next level. So we're going to be using, I know for puff pastries and stuff like that, ice water is definitely the thing. So we're going to try that. No big deal, nothing tried, nothing done. I'm gonna be using a pack and a half of that. Two pinches of salt. And some chiffon butter, you do me good. I just like when you.
All right, so the flour is done being kneaded. So now we are gonna head right over to do the seasonings. All right, so all our seasonings are right there. Um, we're gonna chop them up really nicely. Do it anyhow you want to. Of course, this is a pretty dull knife, so. I really wanna see how fast it's gonna be done. All right, so we're gonna do a quick little test try on one dumpling. I tried one, like a little small piece, and the flavor was excellent, but trying to figure out the texture. Let's see what happens. And in the meantime, throw in a little oil. It is a uh, fish. Gentle ladies, so welcome to the gentleman's kitchen, uh, courtesy of Kurt and myself. We have some fresh squeezed limeade, aka lemonade. We have some fresh avocado, we have some coconut fried dumplings, and we have over there some saltfish cooked up, and also, to start the show, fried plantains. Enjoy. Did you say coconut fried dumpling? Yeah. <laughs> this is so go ahead guys be the judge mm. of this i am curious about this coconut like fried dumpling usually you see people boiling mm. 
crispy and mm -hmm. oh my mm -hmm. gosh, it is so soft. Mm -hmm. try you butter want butter? Mm -hmm. I tried. Wow. Oh. <gasps> Look at that. You know this is a pocket for some salt fish. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even going to ask you right now how the coconut comes in, if it's the, the, the coconut um, milk or what you're using it. Milk. Really good. This is not right. Well, no, you're right. not going to try them to be better than my own. <laughs> no, man. Coconut is just singing out through it right after. It's really nice. Really Coconut yeah. tastes at the end. At the mm -hmm. end. Mm -hmm. That's what I was saying. Tender, Bad. fluffy, not dense at all. Mm -hmm. and like, it's really dry. good. Mm -hmm. Good job. Mm, wow. Nice. That's, that's good. I'm, I'm surprised because I said I don't make good fried dough. Yeah, so. These are good. Well, this is. Okay, good. Good. I'm just going to fill this pocket right here. Sorry, guys. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, my God. You could make this in a mix. Like the festival. Mm -hmm. It tastes really good. The salt fish and the coconut mm -hmm. flavor in the dumpling. It's Bad. good. Yeah. <laughs> we love you. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay, now I can eat. So they enjoyed yeah, it. Nice Give me some sawfish, please. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Sawfish good? Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. Stay safe. Drink this refreshing. If Kurt never got the lemon here, yeah. Man, he always yeah. talking about it. Like, everywhere we go. Any fresh squeeze of lemonade? <laughs> What, ice cream on? My butt. Oh, oh my. Damn it, we're right here. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh. <laughs> the simple things that make, especially me, because I love ice cream, ask anybody. I'm very sweet about my cream. So. <laughs> Your finger just got so numb. Anyway, um, yeah, we're gonna get some ice cream really quick. Where did you see the guy? Oh my god. I'm about to here. It's a go walk. Oh, so. I'm going so it's kind of cool. I never knew they have like you know, a not a lot of road, like ice cream truck, like all the way up here. It's pretty far off. <sighs> Country life because even in Kingston, we don't really have many of them. I mean, they're there, but I think one passes me every Friday. It's really good, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so I got some ice cream, got an ice cream cake. And Kurt likes chocolate, so anything. We have four drinks, we have four drinks, double chocolate. So I have to go, go back to you. Here we go up. Hold on tight. Good man. My name is Alika. He used to work for me and look fine, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and I said, one time and twice a time. Mm -hmm. You got it? Actually? Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> <laughs> 
Да. 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 Yeah, like money in my supermarket, oh, yeah. normally it's freezer burn. You can feel like the ice cream, the crystals on the milk, it's weird. Michelle, we just noticed that one apple tree. Yeah. I was looking in it, but oh. it's nothing. That's so funny because the other ones are bearing. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, let's start with him. Chocolate, the... double chocolate. Oh, double chocolate. Nice. Mm. Mm. Good All right, guys, so this is our last day here, and let me just say, it will not be the last time coming here because. Here I found it was very, very good. This immense scenery just looking up into the Portland Hills is just amazing. But you know, all good things come to an end and I wanted my cousin and my virgin to have an experience of doing this. Travel tip, if you're going anywhere, spend about a week because when you think about the times resting, especially from that Rio Grande video, if you've never seen that one, as relaxing as it was, it was tiring when you got back in. So we wanted to just chill the next day. So just a travel tip, stay out there probably about a week. And that should be enough time to explore as much as you can. We were here for only two nights, I believe. Anyway, guys, we're gonna get moving, and if there's anything else I can show you along the way, I definitely will. Okay.